So Dropbox just released an interesting new update to the already existing Dropbox application and I think this is an innovation that many Dropbox users will be very eager to use. The whole experience of storing, searching and reading documents is going to get a lot easier with Dropbox Dash. Generative AI is definitely changing the way we do things in every aspect of our lives and different companies and even startups are looking for ways to incorporate this into their businesses because aside from making the user experience smoother, it's really going to be difficult for any digital service to survive without these additions in the near future. Just not long ago, I talked in this video about the new AI integration that YouTube is planning on rolling out, which is targeting at making content creation on the platform a lot more fun and also less stressful. In case you haven't seen that video, YouTube is partnering with Allowed to allow users to dub their voice in any language. And it doesn't really stop at that, they intend to sync the lips to the new audio. This is pretty insane. However, in this video, I'll be taking you through the different features that have been added to Dropbox with this, and I'll just mention at this point that Dropbox Dash is still in beta, and so there's still limited access to this feature. But we'll be seeing this rollout really, really soon. Judging by the way Dropbox has been over the years, this won't be the first time that they're integrating machine learning into the program. Formerly, they've been able to include this tool that helps you scan and rearrange your document. And also, there's this feature that allows you to transcribe and download the transcribed contents to your video. Now, some of these might sound really basic and are things you can find on other tools on your computer. But we have to put into consideration that the whole idea behind Dropbox in the first place. They basically wanted to bring together all the tools you need for your work in one spot and make it a lot easier to navigate between different tools and save time in the process. So with the Dropbox Dash, Dropbox basically created a sort of personalized chat GPT. And in case that's not clear enough, Dropbox is leveraging the new advancements in artificial intelligence and can now help you search for particular details in the work documents you have made available on the platform. What we have here is just a really good example of how we'll be living in the future. AI is going to be trusted with a lot more stuff than usual, and as much of this will be relieving humans, there's still some things that need to be addressed. In this video that surfaced recently, Dropbox co-founder and CEO Drew Houston makes mention of how it's a lot easier to search for information based on general knowledge than for you to search through your personal stuff. This owes to the fact that we deal with so many applications, documents, and searches on a daily basis that it's sometimes really difficult to find things, and that's the gap Dash is here to fill. Just like I said earlier, a personalized chat GPT. One of the very first new features that Generative AI has brought to Dropbox is Dropbox AI. And it's just crazy what they have achieved with this. They've made it possible to quickly get insight into what a document is all about without really having to go through the whole document. Let's say you're late for a meeting and forgot to go through the document sent in earlier on the details of that meeting. Now you can get a summary of the whole document with just a click. I see this technology going really wide as it will be amazing means to save time. And according to Drew Houston, they're looking to expand this to be able to read and provide details on entire folders or even your whole Dropbox. We will keep a lookout for these features. And on to another impressive thing here, Dropbox Dash is bringing together all the necessary tools that you usually need for your work like Google Workspace, Microsoft Outlook, Salesforce, Notion, and many others, and allows you to add them to the platform, which in turn gives Dropbox access to them. Now, when this is done, you can seamlessly search and extract the information you need from these different tools from a unified platform. I really think this is impressive and is more like Dropbox adopting the idea of plugins that we find on Google Search and Bing. And if you have used this feature in either of those platforms, then you can agree with me that they make work a lot easier, as you don't have to keep switching from one app to the other. And we'll definitely be seeing a lot of other tools added in the near future. Now, you know how office work can involve the repetition of certain tasks over and over again. Well, Dropbox Dash's integration with machine learning helps it take note of these repeated actions and will help you optimize your working experience. And I really think this is the beauty of generative AI, being able to grow with the user and adapt to the same conditions as the user. This makes for a really immersive experience and is a great addition to Dropbox. Personally, when I'm researching new technology for my videos, I move from one link to another often. 
And I must really confess, it does kind of get tiring at some point. And to this problem, Dropbox Dash has a solution with stacks. The stacks feature basically does the same function as folders, but for your links and cloud contents. So now you can easily track your sources and not get thrown off searching for them at some point. And it's really amazing how some of these little adjustments and additions come with huge impacts. Ordinarily, it wouldn't really occur to users that these simple approaches can have an effect, but they end up making all the difference when they're eventually made available. And the amazing thing is that organizing these links and cloud contents doesn't have to be done manually anymore, as Stacks will be able to do this using machine learning. Really amazing stuff here. While providing a single interface for most of your office work, another thing that Dropbox Dash has set out to do is provide you with the consistency that you need to kick off your day, without really having to go through the process of starting over. The inclusion of the Start Page feature helps you take off right from where you left off. From the Start Page, you can easily surf the data that you have stored in the platform and locate any particular thing you're looking for without delay. And that will be one super cool way to start the day if you ask me. And the good thing is that you can easily join scheduled meetings from here and even find details during a meeting without going through so much stress. And for you to work with Dash, either as a company or as an individual, you have to upload a reasonable amount of data, which can really comprise of anything that you want. And the availability of these details automatically provides information that you'll need about maybe your company. This is why Dash Answers feature really comes in handy. Now, instead of looking through entire documents to pick out one particular point, Dash has you covered and all it will take is something much similar to what we have with ChatGPT. Basically, you can call up any detail you want via a prompt. This is really mind-blowing, and there's no doubt Dropbox will likely be getting many more new users with these updates. And this is one benefit that stands out with regard to generative AI as it tends to help boost productivity. Well, there's no question generative AI has been doing really great stuff that we have to commend, but there are still some gray areas that we need to look at if we're really going to be trusting it. One of these areas is security, and in the case of Dash, security of sensitive information. Personalization is indeed great, but really thinking about what will happen if there's a breach or if there's an involvement of a bad player in some scenario, the consequences could be really astronomical for any company or individual that have their details on this platform. So we continue to call for these tech companies to really focus on developing these AI models in the safest way possible. And most likely, Dash will be safer than we might imagine when it finally rolls out. And as I did mention earlier, Dash is still running in beta and not yet out for the general public. As for when they will release it fully, we don't really know yet, but certainly that will be when they have studied the current usage enough to make sure it will run as intended. Now, for you to access the beta version, you'll have to visit Dropbox.com website and go ahead and download the Dropbox Dash onto your computer, as it's not yet available for your mobile devices. Well, as you can see, Dropbox has done something really amazing here, and we should really brace up because we'll be seeing a lot more infusion of generative AI in the tools we use daily, and the hope is that it makes tasks a lot easier to execute. Let us know what you think about this integration in the comments. Is this something you're likely to trust with sensitive data? And will you encourage others to do the same? That's it for this video. We'll see you in the next one. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button.